Welcome back to Penguin Crafts. Today we're going to be making some gorgeous little gift tags. Um, the ones I'm choosing say uh, it's your birthday on them here, as you can see. So this is using the new powder pink, one of the five new ink colours. Um, it's a double layered one, so you can write on the back of it or stick a sticker on and reuse. So let's get started, shall we? So what you will need is some Whisper White cardstock cut to two inches by five inches and some of the rest of the ink colours so um, Lemon Lime Twist, Fresh Fig, Berry Burst and Tranquil Tide and they are again two inches by five inches. So we'll then do some stamping first. We don't need to do any stamping on the white cardstock so you can put that to one side. What we do need to do is we're going to do some colour on colour stamping using um, one of the new, well one of the stamp sets that's in our current catalogue which is Garden in Bloom. I'm absolutely loving this one at the moment so you'll see a few videos coming up using this and we're also going to use a sentiment from the Happy Birthday Gorgeous set. So this is one of the new sets um, and we're going to be using It's Your Day. Okay so let's grab that out. So we need It's Your Day from there and then from the Garden in Bloom we need a couple of different bits. <coughs> So let's get the sentiment lined up first. So we need It's Your Day, we need the flower outline, and again I'll talk about these in a second, and we need the flower inner. So hopefully on these you can see they both have a little point. That's to help you line up these stamps, so where that little point you need to make sure you stamp them in the same way, okay? And then we're also going to do a bit of the little B. Let me find another block from somewhere. Uh, there's another block. Oh, sorry about that. Too many, too many blocks in the way. Okay, so these are just some old blocks. And we need the B outline and the B centre, okay? <clears throat> Lots of stamps, I know. Okay, oh, let me put them on the screen. So we'll start off with doing all the black ink and we'll do the sentiment on all of them first and we'll do a bit of a conveyor belt, I think. So I get my stamp and scrub ready, just over here. I'm just going to put it off screen just because it's easier for me to work it that way. Okay. So on each of them, as I've done in here, we're going to put the sentiment diagonally across it. I just think that adds a bit something extra. So I'm just using Tuxedo Amenta. You could use your, use your basic black. It's just this is to hand for me. And all I'm going to do is put it at an angle and stamp. Okay? And just repeat this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same on them all. I'm just going to, as I say, clean my stamps up off, off screen. Okay, and the block I was using for that was a C block actually, so if I just put that away. And then I will use that for the B actually. Okay. So, next what we're going to do is start with our flowers. So again, I've got this little point off to the side. And we're just going to go in with our uh, memento ink again. And just stamp as you wish. Again, off the page is always a good way to do it, uh, as it just adds that little bit extra. And it looks like you're working on a on a big sheet. Okay, and just keep working your way around. Each one will be slightly different, and that's the point. Okay, so there's that one done. working as I say it's best to keep it the right way but you can um, move it around if you if you just pay a bit of attention to how you're doing it it'll be fine so this bit's very quick very easy just stamp those flowers on where you want them and as I said each one will be slightly different which I think this I think adds to it really 
you'll be able to see I'm leaving a bit of a gap so we'll fill that in shortly okay again I'm loving this new well it's not a new stamp set should I say it's an old one but it's one that's stayed in our catalogue so I'm loving that and these new ink colours are just absolutely beautiful especially with the sun shining like it is, has been this weekend it does make you and get you in that summery mood okay so again I'm just going to clean off the screen always make sure you clean your stamps it just just gets rid of all that dirty residue that you've had on them. Right, so that's it for black. Now go, we're going to go in. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, let me go back. It's not all we've done for black. I've got this little bee. Hopefully you can see him. He's very cute. And we're just going to go back in and put that in the little gap we've left. So each one will have its own little bee. And I think he's so cute. Now we're done with the black. Right, so now we need to go in and fill in each colour. So I'm going to do this in colour on colour stamping. So whichever card you use and get the coordinating ink. <clears throat> ink up your um, image. And then just work out where you've done it. So as I've done, I've been awkward and moved it around. And then just stamp on top. So it's only subtle, but it just adds something, just finishing off. Um, so just line them up and stamp. They don't line up fully anyway, that's part of this stamp set. So it is quite handy if you like me and you've forgotten which way you've turned it. And then just line them up the best you can. You can take more time than me, I just quite like the sort of bit off. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So that's Lemon Lime Twist. Again, clean the stamp as we're going to be using this over and over again. So make sure you clean between, otherwise you'll get some rather odd colours. Okay, so that's Lemon Lime Twist. Let's do a Tranquil Tide next. So again, Tranquil Tide Ink, Tranquil Tide Base. Ink up your stamp. And then just ink. Each one will be slightly different, but again, I think that does add to the effect. I'm new to this um, colour on colour stamping. I think that's what you called it. Someone's going to tell me below that it's not what it's called, so thank you. Um, but that's what I'm calling it for now. And as you can see, I've made a right mess. So, on to Berry Burst. I think Berry Burst and Tranquil Tide, uh, not... Trank Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist are actually my two favourite ink colours. They're just so bright and summery. And just keep working around again. It's quite a quick process once you get into it. And you can make multiple of these so you've got them ready. So as soon as you've forgotten a birthday like I tend to do, or just a little thank you gift for someone, you've got these on hand ready just to tart up any gift and make it look that little bit extra special so as you see it's not this is all live so i'm not um skipping any bits but as you can see it's very quick very quick to make these so you could easily make them in multiples and and have them back as i've said these would look great in many colors i've just used the in colors um sort of to show them off with the new stamp set and they're becoming very fast favourites of mine okay so one more bit to do on the stamping front so the last thing to do is stamp these bees I'm not sure how this is going to come out the colour wise but we're using uh, Daffodil Delight and we've got the little centre of the bee Hopefully it'll just add a bit of colour to it. That's it. Not a lot, but just add some colour, which is just what we want. 
I think as I've said before, this bee is so cute. Okay, and that's all the stamping. So now we just need to work on sort of putting it together. So grab your scalloped uh, tag topper, slide in each tag one at a time and punch. Again, this is a very quick bit. Very quick. And then at this point, you also need to do your four whisper white ones. So we've done no stamping on the whisper white. This is just for the backing. So there we go. We've done those four very quickly. Let's move this out the way. And then go in with your one inch cord around it. I know Stampin' Up! don't make these anymore, but if you can get hold of one of the old ones, I would, because they are uh, they do just add a nice effect to the finished products. So we're just going to round the bottom corner of um, the four ink colours and the Whisper White. Okay. Again, very quick. Once you've got a little system going, a little conveyor belt. Um, it works really well. And it's something as well that, as I said, it's really quick to do, but it looks like you spent a long time on them, um, which is always helpful when you're uh, making multiple items that they look like you spent longer than you have. Right, so we've now got all of our bases together. We're trying to put them together. So you need the coordinating ribbon. So where's some snips? Oh, so you need a length of ribbon in each colour, fold it in half and then push, um, put them together, one of each, push the back through, the folded bit section through, okay, and then open it up and pull through. I still need to improve my ribbon skills. Um, can't think who it is, whether it's Scrimping Mommy or someone. Um, always seems to make these look really neat, and then I have a go and they don't. And then angle cut your top bits of ribbon. This helps with the fraying, reduce the fraying, should I say? We don't want it too free. Just angle those off, and you can use a lighter just to burn those. And then what we're going to do is grab a mini glue dot our paper piercing tool. Grab a glue dot and we're just going to put this on the white just so we can open them. We can make them overlap as we wish. Okay and then I'm going to do this for all of them. So as again it's very quick, very easy. I'll just cut some length. I've got the others off to the side that's all I'm doing is cutting these ready. Again fold the ribbon in half Push it through your colour and your white, and then push it through. And then just angle um, the ribbon. Okay. Again, glue dot on the white and just align it where you want it, okay? So again, very quick, so I'm just looking at my video and this is 14 minutes at the moment, which sounds a long time, but I think to make five gift tags in total, this will be, uh, well, I've made four on here, um, that it's, I think it's worth it for these and you probably can do them quicker than I am as obviously I'm talking um, these through with you. Mini glue dot. I love the paper piercing tool. I've never used it for paper piercing, but it's what I always use for uh, picking up embellishments or little bits of uh, glue dots as it really is helpful. Last one.
Right. So the last thing we're going to do is put a little bit of glam glimmer on them. So I've got my um, my basic rhinestones. And I'm just going to stick three on each. This is a bit obviously you can skip or if you've got some other gems to put on. It's just I like these basic ones. Um, I think the clear sort of colour works well with anything. There's also the pearl ones which I do also love. Um, I just think these ones are better for this. So, last couple of gems. And there we have it. So there are five gorgeous little gift tags using our new ink colours. So that is Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, Berry Burst, Fresh Fig and Powder Pink. Thank you for watching guys, please give this a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. All the details below and um, will be posted on the blog as well as where you can buy all these items from. Talk to you soon, bye!